Hello, this is TJR. It's Wednesday, October 21st, 11 p.m. as I record this. And earlier today, Paul McCartney announced the release of McCartney 3. And in the tradition of McCartney 1 and 2, he will be performing all the instruments himself. I'm going to read a little bit from the official press release. McCartney 3 will be released December 11th on Capitol Records, across digital platforms, on CD, and on LP manufactured by Third Man Pressing. Final configurations will range from standard 180 gram to a Third Man edition of 3,000 hand-numbered red vinyl copies, a 333 edition sold only via Third Man Records online store and limited to 333 copies, on yellow with black dots vinyl, created using 33 recycled vinyl copies of McCartney and McCartney 2, a U.S. indie retail exclusive pressing of 4,000 hand-numbered white vinyl LPs and more. So far, there has been no information if there will be any deluxe editions with bonus tracks. I'm going to switch over now to The Guardian's coverage on the story. Recorded at the musician's home in Sussex, the album's songs were built from live takes of McCartney singing over guitar or piano accompaniments and were overdubbed later with his bass guitar and drum parts. There was a quote from McCartney, It was about making music for yourself rather than making music that has to do a job, he says. I had some stuff I'd worked on over the years, but sometimes time would run out and it would be left half finished. So I started thinking about what I had. Each day I'd start recording with the instrument I wrote the song on and then gradually layer it all up. It was a lot of fun. The catalyst for the new work was returning to an unreleased song he made in the 1990s with Beatles producer George Martin, entitled When Winter Comes, which closes the album and also inspired another track, Long Trailed Winter Bird. Now, on a personal note, I should mention that I do not own a copy of either McCartney 1 or McCartney 2, but I have heard both albums from start to finish on a number of occasions. While both albums do have some strong tracks, they are both a bit um, unusual, and perhaps I should do a video where I do a more serious breakdown and review. So the first thing I am wondering is, will McCartney 3 be an oddball mix in the way that both 1 and 2 were? Or will this be a more traditional McCartney album with him just playing all the tracks? A YouTube trailer for the album shows Paul working on these tracks, and you do get to hear some little snippets from the forthcoming album. Admittedly, it's not much to go on, but from what I've heard, I will say that there does seem to be some spirit of experimentation and exuberance. At least from what I can hear, anyways. While nothing is certain, I feel fairly confident that we will get at least one to two advanced tracks before the album's release, so I will be keeping my ears open for those, and I definitely will be commenting on any advanced tracks that do come out on this channel, so be sure to click like, click subscribe, and smash the bell notification icon so you can know when I release those videos. Who knows, we might actually get an advanced track by this Friday. Wouldn't that be something? So what are your thoughts? Are you excited for this? Go check out the trailer on YouTube and then come back and share your thoughts. Also, let us know what you think of McCartney 1 and 2. This is TJR. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you all stay safe and healthy. Take care. Bye-bye.